Hello everyone, I'm Satyajit and welcome back to my channel. You're watching the Python course playlist and today's video is on Python data structures. Under data structures, we shall be talking about sets. I hope you're already clear with the previous topics. If not, please go back to the videos in my playlist and study them. Link to the videos are already in the description below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified on my future videos. In the previous videos, we talked about lists, tuples, in which scenarios to use lists and which scenarios to use tuples. We are also quite familiar with the various methods inside them, how to do slicing, how to do indexing, how to do concatenation, sort, how to sort a list or a, sort a tuples. And all those activities have already been done. If you are not pretty sure about it, if you haven't followed that video, please go back to the channel or go back to the playlist and uh, play through them. And then once you're clear with those concepts, then come back to the sets class. So let's talk about sets. Sets are unordered collection of items. They are type of collections like lists and tuples, storing mixed data, but they don't allow duplicates. That's going to be one of the important characteristics of sets. The items of set cannot be duplicate. Now, if you have colors equals to red, blue, green, that's fine. It can be like your length of the set will be three. Now, if you have red, blue, green, green, green. So again, if you just find out the length of the set, it will be three because it will have three unique values. On the other hand, sets only captures or only takes into account the unique values. It doesn't include the duplicates. So there are various operations, obviously union, intersection, a lot of other functions which we shall be going through. So let's quickly jump into the uh, practical part and let's try to do a hands-on coding. So I, as you can see, I have already created a Jupyter Notebook. So the first characteristics, whatever comes into our mind is that sets do not allow duplicates. Let's try to see that. Let's try to create set one equals to, and sets are already, are always created in the curly braces. Let's say I create one, two, three, four, 10, 15. Let's say I'll create this. Let's, let's try to print it out. That's fine. One, two, three, four, 10, 15. Now I will create with some duplicate items. One, two, four. Still your output is same, right? Because it is discarding the duplicate values. It is only taking into the account only the unique values. That's the property of set. Apart from that, how to find the length of a set? Obviously the same length function, length of set one. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to be the length of set. Now let's say I want to add a new element to a set. How do I add it? Set two equals to Okay, let, let's create a new set, no problem. So let's create it. Now I want to add a new parameter or a new element to this particular set. So what I can do is set to dot add 99. And now let me print set to, well, 99 is added in the set, right? Similarly, if you want to remove some items, I'll, I'll not declare it again, but yeah. Maybe I will just do remove or maybe 10 set to so 10 has been removed from the set. So you can add, you can remove. Now there, there will be certain scenarios where you have to use sets as well. Uh, when we jump into the problem statements or you can say uh, some sample code practices also we will be doing at the end of this course. In that we will, in live, we will be using these kind of data structures. So you will understand in which scenarios we have to use what. For the time being, let's just focus on the basics part. Let's just understand what is set, what are the different methods in sets and all those things. Now, after add and remove, let's try to do a union operation. Let me just create a markdown. I will do union intersection difference and yeah there is a symmetric difference as well symmetric difference. so let me create two sets for the time being set one and set two 
let's say I will do 3, 10, 20, 30, something like that. Now, these two sets are already created, should have 1, 2, 3, 4. Combinedly in both the sets, all the unique values will be printed in the intersection. Or you can, sorry, it's in the union. Let me just copy the code and create a new cell for intersection. Now intersection is nothing but and. So let's try to do an and operation. That means it has to be present in both this and that. If I do that, the common elements are 3 and 10. Right? That is the reason we can see 10 and 3. Let's try to copy this and let's try to see what is the difference operation. What is difference? Now difference means elements which are part of set X and not part of set Y. Something like that. Like set 1 has these elements. Whatever common elements you have in set 2, those will be subtracted from set 1. As simple as that. Now if I run this command, my output should be 1, 2, 4, 15. Let's run it. 1, 2, 4, 15. Simple. Let's do a symmetric difference. For symmetric difference, you can use the power operator. So 1, 2, 4, 15, 20, 30. That's going to be your symmetric difference. So symmetric difference is nothing but you can see, you, you can easily get your, if you have any doubts, you can easily get it. Only the common attributes are neglected. So you can see symmetric difference is nothing but your union operation minus the intersection operation. I will also try to do this, this, this minus your intersection operation. Let's do this. This is nothing but your symmetric difference. See, the output is same 1, 2, 4, 15, 20, 30. So symmetric difference is nothing but your union operation minus your intersection operation. That's basically your symmetric difference. So instead of writing such a big command, you can simply use this particular parameter or you can say this particular operator. Okay, so that's it about the sets part. Uh, it was quick and uh, I think it was good. So next session will be on dictionaries. It's going to be a little bit complex as compared to list stuffs and sets. But yeah, let's have let's have a good discussion in the dictionary part. So for the time being, thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Please like the video, share among your friends and, and if you have any doubts in this particular video or in the previous videos, just comment it down and if you have any questions related to anything, I will try to reply you back. Thank you guys.